All right. So this is Zadi Da with MC, Emerson Charlotte, uh -huh. and Kofi, KP. Uh -huh. So every week we will go and we will review pizza, but this is different. We do pizza reviews much better than everyone else because we're cool. So there are a lot of variables that go into it. So every place we go to is going to be thin crust, standard amount of toppings of sausage, mushroom, and garlic because garlic is the lifeblood because we're not vampires. Rah. Yeah. Exactly. But here's the caveat. We'll always eat at the restaurant and then the next day we will wake up in our PJs with our bed head and we'll eat reheated pizza from that location. Reheated standardly. 370 degrees in the air fryer for five minutes. Yeah. This will make sure that it'll always be the same temperature when we get it back out. So, come over. Five minutes is up from the air fryer. We each get one slice. And then, this will eliminate some of the variables from when we actually get the pizza from the restaurant. All right. So, we did Rulies this week. The original Pasquale Rulies from Mishawaka, right up the street from our house on Division Street. One of the staples of Mishawaka pizza. One of our three hometown favorites. Rest in peace, Reggio's. We hope that someone buys Reggio's. Of course you can have a piece. That's the whole point. All right. So. Just came out of the air fryer. Perfect, reheated. And then we also get a crispier crust. So we went to Rulies last night. Really good, always a consistent crust. The biggest issue with it yesterday was the toppings weren't done all the way, were they? The crust was perfect, but the toppings weren't done, which means that the stone in the oven actually was at the consistent temperature that you want. But it was good. It was, oh, of course, it was all, all quality ingredients, always. But it means that they weren't rotating the pizzas to the back to the back, and then back to the front or rotating the pizza all the way around. Or our pizza was in the front and it was staying open when they, since, I mean, it's quarantine. It's just getting back to normal. So might be new pizza, pizza people. So toppings didn't get all the way done, but what happened? <coughs> anyway, so we're going to give it a... A little blow off so it doesn't burn the baby. Yeah. The only difference that with me and this pizza, I usually get the spicy Italian. I got the regular crumbly Italian sausage, which isn't as good. Didn't want to burn the baby. But what do you think? Mm, yeah, that's good. It's better than it was yesterday, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's because the toppings are all the way done. Crispier crust. But that's why yep. we're doing it this way. Yep. It's better this way? Yeah. All right. So, give it a three out of three. We'll give it three point five out of five in house. We'll do one more but video. that's the thing. We're gonna do a video later, baby. Okay. Okay. Three out of five. Three out of five for everything, but three point five because of the quality of ingredients. So, three point five out of five in house, and then in our house, four and a half because actually this is what I'm used to having there with the toppings all the way done, a little bit more crisp on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it's the whole shebang now. But like I said, spicy Italian is better than the crumbly Italian. You'll be old enough to have that spicy stuff. So from now on, you think you can handle spicy? Because I eat jalapeno chips. She eats jalapeno chips, so she said it. All right. Because I eat jalapeno chips with Kobe and Cameron, right and sister. Okay, it has nothing to do with pizza. But, all right, that's MC, I'm KP. We'll get better at this. This is our first one, but good pizza? Yeah! Good pizza. Four to five, final, final tally.